Hello there, welcome to Blink and Beep. Thanks a lot for choosing to watch this video. Let's get started right away. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing my new vacuum cleaner that I purchased recently. It's the Geek Shoner A10 Bagless Vacuum Cleaner. The link to the product is available in the description. Uh, before we unbox and see a demo, let's take a quick look around the box to get an idea about the features and the highlights. Well, in this side of the box, the first thing anyone would notice is the product image uh, looks stylish in the blue and gray combination, makes it look premium. Uh, the flexible pipe uh, connects the bag and the stainless steel telescope tube, uh, which has the height adjustment setup in it. And in the end, we have the multi-surface floor brush. In the tube, we also can find the holder, which holds the other two nozzles that come with this vacuum cleaner. Uh, this vacuum cleaner delivers uh, 20 kPa suction power. We will soon see that in action. Moving to the other sides. So this is where all the fun is, the highlights and features. Uh, let's take a quick look. The first one to start with, we get a washable HEPA filter. So the HEPA filter seems to be the talk in recent times. So for those who are new to this concept, HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air Filter. Uh, this type of air filter can remove at least 99.97% of dust, pollen, mold, bacteria and any airborne particles with a size of uh, 0.3 microns. So almost all vacuum related cleaning products nowadays are making this a standard. Make sure you buy a product that comes with this filter. Then the 3 liter dust container, uh, suction control gear. So basically a toggle to uh, increase or decrease the suction power. Automatic cord rewinder, so rewind the power cable with the touch of a button. Uh, durable stainless steel telescope tube, um, so the one that we just saw on the product image. And brush adjustment pedal, so this one. So I'm not sure how it works yet, so we will check it out while the demo. Down below are the accessories, the upholstery nozzle for cleaning uh, sofas and car seats, 2-in-1 crevice nozzle for cleaning smaller areas and the multi-surface floor brush so that is for cleaning your floor so you get one year warranty on the product could have been a bit more in my opinion there's a few more highlights on top of the box uh, 8 meter retractable power cord so 8 meters of cord that is really lengthy that's good 1400 watts powerful motor automatic cord rewinder so when you have a 8 meter cord definitely the cord rewinder, automatic cord rewinder is definitely useful. Uh, 360 degree rubber wheel, detachable one press dust release. So that is for the container where the dust is getting collected. Bagless, so no hassles with bag. So it's all the container. So you just have to detach it and uh, throw the dust. So that's pretty easy. So with that said, it's time to unbox. Let's get with it. Alright, so in the box, the first thing, the uh, flexible pipe to connect to the dust can. Next is the multi-surface floor brush. The stainless steel telescopic tube. The other nozzles and holder. And finally, the vacuum cleaner itself. Let's have a closer look.
The multi-surface floor brush comes with a set of wheels and a flexible connector section. It has this foot operatable lever which helps in bringing up the hot brush for cleaning rugs and carpets. Not just that, it also brings out the rubber wiper additionally for better cleaning. Next up are the nozzles and holder. The holder can be fixed to the telescopic tube allowing the nozzles to be fixed to the holder when not in use. The 2-in-1 crevice nozzle which can be used with or without the brush. I have a demo coming up in this video on how to use it both the ways. And then the upholstery nozzle for seats and sofas. I have made a demo on this as well. The telescopic tube comes with a push button which helps us to retract and expand the tube depending upon our height needs. Coming to the vacuum cleaner, we get two sets of hot foot operatable buttons. The first one is the power button. The second one is the cord rewinder. In the back is a slider to adjust the suction power for four different speeds if I am not wrong. The dust container can easily be detached with just a push of a button. Even more easier is to put it back. The power cord is neatly tucked underneath the bottom giving the vacuum cleaner a neater look. We see an yellow warning followed by a red which indicates the end of the long 8 meter cord. Be careful with the rewinder as I found it to be too fast carrying about nothing in its way. And trust me, I did not speed up the rewinding. The wheels at the back are large with rubber finish for better grip. Additionally, we get a 360 degree swivel wheel for smooth mobility. Emptying the dust can is so easy with just a single press. A simple push to lock it back. It 
it doesn't stop there. Geek gives you more ways to dismantle the can for better cleaning and also to clean the filters. To put back the can, make sure you lock it as shown. It really is simple as that. It is time for assembling our cleaner. First the flexible pipe. Then the telescopic tube, a push with a little force. Finally the floor brush to the end of the telescopic tube. Let me get it adjusted for my height. It comes with a small provision to rest the brush when not in use. Here's my setup to demo the floor brush. It has mustard seeds, dal, tea powder, biscuit pieces, onion scales and curry leaves. Let's see how it goes. Hitting the power button, setting the suction speed somewhere in between max and min, And here we go. I had to lift up the brush a bit so that the bigger items like onion scales can be pulled in. And no trouble with the dust items in the corners. Here is the after look of the floor. It really makes it easier to clean kitchen spills. Oh yes, a dust cyclone but all under control. Moving on, the webs on the ceilings. Well, no more worries. It is easier than ever before to clean them all. The telescopic tube makes it easier to reach corners even at heights. Moving to the next item, the upholstery nozzle fits perfectly making the job easier. As we see, the suction is powerful enough to pull all dust particles which otherwise is not visible to our eyes.
for tighter spots like this, the crevice nozzle to the rescue. And the job is done. Next, I wanted to test how the crevice nozzle with the brush pulls the dust from the mosquito nets. Surprisingly, with a little effort for the motion, the brush was able to remove most of the dust from the net without trouble. Here is a comparison of an unclean net as to one cleaned net. I did not put much efforts here and still the results are great for a quick clean. After all those cleaning, it is time to check the dust that's been around me all these days. Well, the can speaks for itself. It is time to check how the HEPA filter worked to trap the micro dust from getting back out into the air. It is definitely impressive on what this cleaner can do. And as instructed, it can be cleaned with warm water and be allowed to dry before the next use. With that, we come to the end of this video. Hope this was useful to you. This is exceptionally a lightweight and yet powerful vacuum cleaner that can get things clean in an instant. Except for the fact that it heats up after continuous usage, I don't see anything else as a drawback. I am a happy customer and hope you feel the same. See you in another video. Thank you. Bye bye.